Jim Crow's Tears is about reflection. It's about protest. It's about taking a satirical look at the history of the entertainment industry and really making sure that we're reflecting on the past in order to learn from it. Right now what we're seeing is we're seeing a, a total lack of respect for different groups of people. We're seeing a lot of people not have any empathy for other marginalized groups of people. And there's a lot of misunderstanding, there's a lot of ignorance, and there's a lack of tolerance. And I think it's really important that we come together and try to take an opportunity to get to know one another and really understand independent struggles and how they all relate together. I think this piece motivates people because it really makes them look inside and really makes people question whether or not they're being tolerant, whether or not they're being accepting, whether or not they're judging, whether or not they're stereotyping or, or discriminating against any different groups of people. It also makes people question what they may be doing inside that might be Kunin in a way, what they might be doing that is fake behavior, what they might be doing that is somehow um, in what ways people are actually altering themselves in order to please others. I'm very excited to be bringing Jim Crow's Tears right here to Salt Lake City, Utah at the Rose Wagner Center. Please join us on Friday, March 10th, 2017 at 730 for a dynamic show that I guarantee will have you talking and thinking about things differently. <laughs>